second down and 10. Both teams two and two. Both teams one and one at home. Both teams one and one on the road. Adam State beat Fort Lewis 35-24 last week at home. They lost at Colorado Mines 70-7. And Highlands lost to South Dakota Mines 42-7 last week. And that's going down the left sideline for great yardage. Kentrell Petit, who had a big play for a touchdown. In fact, it was one of the plays of the week in the RMAC. He made the catch and a lot of yards after catch. Such a tough play to defend there. Excellent play call by Adam State. So after they went on fourth and one, they are moving the ball. Here is Nelson throwing end zone to the tight end. Quinlan Bisbee, touchdown, touchdown, Adam State just like that. They got that second opportunity on fourth down. And what a throw and just finding Bisbee, the tight end, wide open in the end zone. There's Cave on the keeper, good running. Cave across the 40, left sideline 45. And Joey Cave, the young man who knows how to run the dual offense, he ran a lot of quarterback read in high school at Rio Rancho, gets up to the 45 just like that. And Cave's known to be a threat. He could throw that ball and he is not scared to run it. Yeah, take another look at it here on the replay. Good play action. Looked like he was going to pitch it. Then he just kept on going. The hole was right there. You thought maybe he was going to go a little further, but he was finally tapped out of bounds. Motion by Obacheri from right to left. The handoff goes to Norman. Slices his way up the middle of the 45 to the 40. And just about to the 40, they'll mark him right there as he was finally tackled down, but not until a good game. Malik Norman showing good speed and made a nice cut at about midfield and gained himself 10 extra yards. What a tough run. Third down and nine at the 24, Cave out of the pistol, back to pass. He's being rushed, got by one guy. He's gonna run in the right flat at the 20, to the 15, to the 10. Woo. Bumped into a man as he is hit hard at around the three yard line as he was hit by Ahmed Bernard out of Pash Christian, Mississippi, 5'10", 175, a senior. And he said, you're not going to pass. <laughs> and Mr. K dropped his left shoulder and said, happy homecoming. Here it is again on the replay here on video. His cave goes to the right side. He had an angle. I think at this point he thought he was going to score. And right there, there's the collision right at the three-yard line. They both stared each other down. And clean play. But that was a hard hit on both ends. Second down and goal. Cave now out of the pistol. Norman to his right, slightly behind him. Man in motion, Norman to carry. Bulldozes ahead, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Mexico Highlands. The homecoming crowd is happy, and I am sure Coach Ron Hudson and his coaching staff is happy with the way they came back after some adversity on defense. He looks as poised as ever, though, doesn't he? He does. Chase Nelson, the guy that Ramon is talking about, has looked impressive. Looks like he's been there before, and he's only a freshman. Couple-step drop, rolls out to his right, passes. Middle of the field, that's a completion. Alex Reed. Reed avoided the first tackle. He gets inside the 50 to the 48, just inside the right hash mark and he has the first down. Gannon Jennis, I believe, was the man who got the tackle finally, but the first man missed, and it allowed them to move the chains. a little more descriptive here as we are on radio also. So 47, so you could see it on your picture if you're watching the RMAC Network. Back to pass, here's a good catch, and what a catch. Did he get that? Yes, he did. He did hold it in. Man. That was number eight, Aaron Johnson out of South Las Vegas, Nevada, a diving catch. And there was a flag on the play. We'll see what they call, but watch this play again as Nelson put it on the money. It looked like it was going to be pass interference anyway, but the play ended up at around the 16-yard line. 
Franken to the right. There's movement, free play for Nelson. Nelson goes to the right side, and that is in the end zone. Did he catch it? Yes, he did. Touchdown. Touchdown, Marino, the tight end. First and 10 at the 47 Absolutely. of Adam State going right to left. Lining up in twins formation. Here's Nelson throwing in the right flat, and as a completion, and that is a, is fumble. That a fumble. And if they rule out a catch, that is a fumble. I really couldn't tell if he had it long enough for it to be a uh, catch in a possession of. Well, the guy who was just involved in the last play, the interference, ends up getting the fumble recovery. Damon Young, number 14. So he gets the ball, and New Mexico Highlands will take over first and 10 at their own 28. As you see, it was the runner, Bisbee, made the catch. He was at around the 35 and then was hit. They stripped him, he fumbled the ball. And it's New Mexico Highlands ball, first and Too 10 at their own 28. This, uh, Grizzly team to get away with that. Second down and 19 now as Cave will flip it there over the middle. And that pass. is a good pass to Norman. Norman down the left sideline as he goes across the 40 to the 45. And Norman all the way past midfield. He will get to the Adams State 47. What a yard after catch run by Malik Norman, but there is a flag back at the 26 and another one at the 28. Looks like this one's coming back. You know. Little flip to the left side, the ball comes loose and it is picked up by Adam State. We're gonna see if he was downed or not. Super. And looks like they're going to rule it a fumble. That is Junior Atuatasi, 6'5", 3'10", senior out of San Diego, California, Morse High School, picking up the ball. Give us an opportunity to talk about the quarterback, Chase Nelson, 15 of 16, 130 yards, two touchdowns so far. Give on the right side. This is Rankin getting to the outside. He edges into the end zone. Where do they mark him? They're gonna mark him out. They're gonna mark him out of bounds at the three. Just missed getting in, but that was a good angle run by Rankin. Just standing next to the quarterback, you see how much bigger he is. And he gets the ball here, angles straight away, and into the end zone, touchdown. Two yard run, Rankin, touchdown, Adam State. But the line coming up huge, so now we have another third and long. This time third and nine, they converted on third and about 14 on the last play. We'll see what they come up with here. Well, Miles Stafford just really filled that hole. He did. No pressure, now he's gonna throw over the middle and that is a pick, picked off. How about that? Picked off by Damon Young. Big oh. interception by Young. That's his first Second of and the five. You get a good look there at Cave. Cave waiting on the ball, gets it, hands it off to Norman, who bulldozes straight ahead again oh toward my. the goal line. He got all the way close, and the arms are up. Touchdown, New Mexico Highland. Well, second and five at the 25. There's Cave on the play action, rolling out to his left. He's going to run all the way. He's at the 30, left sideline 35. Keeps angling out of bounds at around the 37. That was a good run by Joey Cave. In that time, he was very demonstrative about where he wanted to go as opposed to just navigating and saying, well, maybe I'll go this way. No, he knew right where he was going. Oh, absolutely. And you know, if you had one more second, he had a wide open receiver down the field, probably about 50 yards. I think it's something he could have reached. Eagles lead to the left, 28 seconds. Cave gets the snap. Cave looking. Throws towards the end zone, oh, incomplete. I think he got there early. Is there a flag on there? No flag, oh, it looks no. like. No flag. And that's going to do it. 21 seconds as they turn it over on downs. Mm, that was a close play, but no flag was called. Take another look at it as Cave flared it. There was contact, but no flag. And the official, to his credit, was looking right at the play. 
Adam State's going to take a knee and they're going to escape here with a victory 21 to 14 over New Mexico Highlands. A heartbreaker for Highlands to lose. 